as a beginner, obviously, this is aimed at the beginner audience. Um, how how are some like what are some practical tips that you can provide for oh, yeah. beginners of health um, to be able to implement some AI and blockchain in their field of work? Yeah, so. Um I wouldn't say that I'm a beginner in artificial intelligence and blockchain, but I'm considered a beginner f uh, in comparison to other people because I started... I think you're an expert. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of use cases that I, where I used that technology. So coming from that perspective, I didn't learn everything about blockchain and artificial intelligence. I learned what I needed for that specific use case. And you learn as you grow, you know, um, and you as you use the, the, the case. So you cannot learn everything about the technology and then try to apply it. Just try to find a specific problem and then you can try to see whether this solution can actually provide a solution for that uh, specific problem or not. Because it all starts with the problem and not the solution. Um, and uh, speaking with the right team, you need, you need to speak to the domain experts. Uh, I'll give you an example of um, the aircraft uh, crash that happened on Sunday. It had 33 different nationalities in there and it was a disaster by itself. And, um, you know, when. Sorry, can you re refer to the airplane crash? That's an Ethiopia, yeah, was it? Ethiopian, yes, uh, airlines uh, crash that happened sadly on Saturday, Sunday and every, you know, the 180 plus uh, people uh, uh, passed away um, in that uh, tragedy. The when when they tried to understand the problem, uh, it was a new software that had been installed in the aircraft, and. Uh, looking at the problem uh, it's it's not a that software wasn't actually wasn't badly designed and it wasn't a software failure that happened it's actually in my very own opinion it was the miscommunication between the domain experts and also the software engineers when they built the, the software to consider that specific scenario when the airplane uh, when the software can overtake the control and uh, the pilot doesn't have the control because it's switched on. If you just simply, as a pilot, switch it off, you will have full control over the um, the software and the the whole uh, you know uh, aircraft. But if you turn it on, that that means you're allowing the software to actually take control because this is how it was programmed. It's programmed to take control once the pilot doesn't actually you know uh, needs the help with the stalling of the aircraft. So it wasn't actually a problem, but it's just this scenario where the pilot may actually um, lose control and the same time can't really breathe and you know have the um, you know be able to 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 be conscious to uh, to make those decisions in a timely manner this wasn't considered in the use cases and um, the testing use cases to put the right controls to adjust the software to at least give it a time out a you know time a break when you know if there is no response from the pilot uh, to turn off immediately or, or something uh, you know they can consider different scenarios but it's a very important to communicate with the domain experts when you design a software to make sure that it's well tested and it fits all the scenarios and always always update it when when cases come out like these and I'm sure there are a lot of um, changes in the software development um, you know for that specific software after this incident and the reports that happened but unfortunately lots of people had to lose their, the, to lose their lives in order to make that change yeah. and I think it's so important for technology to always account for people yes. and the yes. use cases of people Absolutely. and I, I, you know I, I think unfortunately um, as we develop new technologies for AI and blockchain hopefully we work very closely with yes. the developers to make sure that the people aspect is also in there yes. not just technology focus and you bring a really good point there because you know, we're, we're both very um, deeply entrenched in this space and um, yeah. and I think the developers, they speak their own language yes. and unfortunately, they don't always consider the human aspect. Uh